it's almost midnight and I can't sleep. So I'm going to do my nails. I got some new nail polish at Cosmo Prof. It is a professional store. You have to be a licensed stylist or esthetician to get in there. And I'll show you what I got. The first one is a gel polish. I'm not gonna focus. Let's see. I want to, you guys to see, like. <clears throat> oh, can't open this one. There we go. I don't know if it'll pick it up. But you can see. Oh, there we go. Got like butterflies. Oh. Where's the butterflies? There's no butterflies. <clears throat> I want to test it out on something. Let's see. <coughs> Corona. Okay, let's test it out. I'm bringing it down here. Oh, this is boring. Let me mix it up. Hang on. It's supposed to, but it just has like flecks of glitter. I don't see any of those circles. Oh, there's a sparkle. Just a glitter. Can you even see that? There you go. Well, that sucks. It was eight bucks. They usually a bit more, sometimes double that. Okay, the second one I got was on sale for $2.88, and this is the Morgan Taylor. Do I need to pick it up? No. What is this called? Feeling swimsical. I'm gonna swatch this on something here. Let's pull that. The Morgan Taylor actually dries really fast. That's pretty. It's showing more blue on here, but it actually has like more like a teal color. Yeah, the camera's picking it up a diff totally different color. So there's that one. <clears throat> Got another one. Look at the sparkle on that one. This is three seventy-three, and this is the China Glaze. Watch this one. China glaze is usually pretty thin, I find. Yeah, this one's runny too. I just got a paper towel here. Oh, it's so pretty though. Hang on. Let me get some more on here. Oh, it's, the bottle looks like it's brown. I don't know what it is. Rooney brown, not, not brown, but I don't know what's it called? Queen of Sequence. I'm gonna let that one dry and put a second coat on it. Now, this one I love, 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 love. I had to get it. And that was eight bucks. Or, no, five something. Five ninety five, I think. It's Morgan Taylor again, but look at this. The camera's not picking it up. It has um, 
the iridescent to it. It's like a, it reminds me of a, like a sun set. It's midnight, okay? Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can swatch it too. Sorry, I'm whispering. I live in a bungalow and everybody can hear me. Picking up like the true colors on camera, which really suck. I'm gonna do this one on here again. Oh yeah, it's like a deep maroony purple. This one's pretty too. It looks poopy on camera, but it's actually like has a purple to it. Okay, I'm actually going to be doing the red one right now. Let's do some nails. Okay, so I dropped off Paige at dance and it's dark because I'm driving so you probably can't really see me. Anyways, it's quarter to seven. I am going to hit Value Village. I keep forgetting about going there. I'm looking for one of those um, salt and pepper roots hoodies for her. She's been asking for one. I really don't want to spend $100 on a hoodie. So I'm heading there and I'll bring you in with me. It's a little bit rainy. There's my wipers. Yeah, it's just spitting. There's also a Dollarama here, but I'm not gonna go in there because they all have the same thing and I don't need anything from Dollarama. All right, I'm gonna get my coat on. Let's go. Okay, we're going in. Okay, Had one of these for April. What's this? October. That's really pretty. And here's more knickknacks. I 
think this is the same value village that Mrs. Cotton Candy comes to sometimes. I know we live like, in the same region because some of the restaurants that she's mentioned she's gone to are very close to me. Um, I've always wanted these like wooden pencils. Cappuccino money. What is this? See, I'm holding these rounds for the cars. What are these? What are they giving you for $2.99? Three of them. That's really good. Yeah. I like a little tree skirt. This matches Paige's jazz dress for a competition. Look at these. It's like Michael Jackson thriller or something. Okay, so that kind of sucked. I didn't really have anything good. Uh, what time is it? 7.30, so I still have about an hour and 20 minutes till she's done. So I'm gonna go and walk around Winners.
Okay, I'm like really bad, bad at vlogging. I was already in winners. Paige called me at dance. I need water. I have an hour left. So I had to go. I went in there, got some water, and then I went, picked it, dropped it off to her. And now I'm back here again. So my husband's like, Okay, so I was done in winners. Um, I picked up the underwear that my husband has been asking for. He's like, I better have 20 pairs of underwear for Christmas. And Paige a pair of pants, two pairs of pants. And Ethan a pair of pants. And um, some little treats for my co-workers. Um, one of them watches, so I'm not really gonna say what it is. Sometimes she watches, I don't know if she watches all of them. Hi, Danny. So right now I'm just waiting for um, Paige at her studio. My wiper's going in the back. I'm going to turn my car off. And the light's off. I was at the mechanic again today because my oil is leaking. I just had an oil change last week. Every time I get an oil change, my freaking car leaks somewhere. So they found three spots where it could be possibly leaking. They changed the oil filter. And they said just leave it for now for a few days and come back next week and we'll see if there's any change. Or if I'm still leaking or not leaking, I don't know. Anyways, so my nails have lasted really nice. And it's 8.30 now, so I've been up for quite a while. So, um, I did fall asleep yeah, for maybe a couple hours. I've had a migraine all night long. I had my migraine, I finished my customer that was booked with me, two of them cancelled. I only went in, I was going to call in, but I knew I had people booked so I can't went in anyways. And then after I was done, um, around 10.30 I think, 10 or maybe 10.30, yeah around 10.30 I left because my eyes were just in so much pain with my migraine with the light and everything. And. That's it. So yeah, just waiting for Paige to go home after. Probably have something to eat like we do every evening after dance or when we come home late for some reason we just like to have snacks. Sometimes we, she even asks for like hot dogs so we'll make like a full, not meal, but meal. We'll do like hot dogs or I don't know, something. I can't think right now. I've been up for a long time. Even the night, even like the night before, I didn't sleep very well. Oh, so last night I was saying it was around after I did my nails, I went and lay down on the couch and watched some YouTube or thing. I, I don't know. I fell asleep. When I woke up, it was almost one o'clock, and then I think I laid down. And I fall asleep, but then Caleb started freaking out. He woke up, and it was around three o'clock, and he wanted milk, so I got him a bottle of milk but then he came out into the living room thinking it was um, daytime because it was snowing and it was bright outside so it looked like it was seven in the morning so I'm like no 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 go back to bed you drink your milk come get your milk in your bed and he can climb out of his bed because he's just on the mattresses like a double mattress is on the floor so then I end up lying down with him and he was driving me crazy all night long not all night long for however long he finished his bottle but he likes to suck on it and the su sound of the sucking on an empty bottle it is just like drives me crazy. I tried pulling it out like three times and like it's all done. It's all done. No. So he fell asleep sucking on it. It was probably like half an hour 
but I didn't fall asleep. Did I? I don't remember. I just remember then hearing Ethan waking up. I'm going to the washroom, I'm looking outside and it's brighter than I went out and it's like almost seven o'clock. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain. My head is pounding. <sighs> but now I'm finally feeling better. It's still raining, but I get migraines when the weather is changing and when it's raining, especially when it's raining or even when it's coming. So right now I kind of feel it like lingering and I get them on the one side and like kind of underneath my skull like pressure and like tension I even feel them like in my jaw like in my teeth like it's, it's so bad and no I don't take anything for it because nothing works I've had migraines since I was like in high school maybe since 1996 I know this started after my mom died and she died in 96 so I might have started my migraines in 1997 yep and especially before my cycle, I get them. So I've been getting migraines for a very long time. I was taking like Advil all the time, like three times, like I would take like three at a time, the liquid gels, the extra strength ones, and eventually they just stopped working after years and years and years. So since 2010, when I got pregnant with Ethan, I haven't taken any medication for anything. The only thing I've um, gave into was cough syrup, and that was um, probably around seven years ago I had some, and then a couple years ago I had some, when I had a cough. I know I'm just rambling on. Anyways, I'm going to go now and wait in my car for Paige and end this vlog and just play some games on my phone. For the next 10 minutes while I wait for her. Alright, thanks for watching. Good night.